2023 presidency. Anger as APC, PDP Mo sitting tickets to the north. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. NBF, Afeni Ferre, Pandef, Ohanese, Adibanjo, Amechi, Ikpomwe, speak. We'll work against PDP, APC, and any party that zoned its ticket to the North. NBF. It will fly against the spirit of equity, justice. Afeni Ferre. It may lead to Nigeria disintegration, pa Adiban Jor. Nothing else feeling why Nigeria bonds or Hanese. By Clifford Induje. Anger yesterday greeted a larger plot of some leaders of the ruling All Progressives Congress, APC, and the main opposition People's Democratic Party, PDP, to seat their 2023 presidential ticket to the North. After zoning the national chairmanship slot to the North, with Northern as emerging as national chairman of both parties, the leading parties have been foot dragging on zoning the presidency to the South. The Northern Orders Forum this weekend clamored for the presidency to be thrown open to all parts of the country. APC National Chairman Senator Abdullahi Adamo on Friday said the party had not taken a decision on zoning and did not disclose when the party would do so. Asked if the party has zoned the presidential ticket to the south, he said, I am today privileged to be chairman of the party. The party is greater than me. The party has not made a decision and I cannot preempt what the party's decision would be. The PDP hierarchy is yet to take a decision on the issue. Its committee on zoning, led by Benu State Governor Samalotum, recently recommended that the race be thrown open. The non committal stance of both parties on zoning elicited furrow yesterday. We will work against PDP, APC, and a party from that zone is tickets to the north, NBF. The Middlebed Forum, MBF has vowed to collaborate with sister groups in the southern part of the country to work against the interest of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, and the All Progressive Congress, APC, or any other political party that zoned its presidential ticket to the North. He said, our position has not changed and it will not change. If they decide to do what they will have to contend with us, because we are going to campaign vigorously against them, we will work against them. And if there is any political party that does the right thing, Nigerians will move in that direction. We cannot continue with the way we are and the way things are. If there are a bunch of cowards and people who do not love Nigeria in both the All Progressive Congress APC and the People Democratic Party PDP. Let them try it. Nigeria is for all Nigerians. It is not for Northerners. It is not for Muslims. It is not for Christians. It is for all Nigerians. And if they feel that Nigeria can be dominated because of the interest and they feel that it will win if they zone it to the north. Let them try it. Was it the north that gave Atiku all those votes he scored in the previous election? Was it the north that gave Buhari all the votes? The south has spoken. We in the Middle Belt have spoken, and they are going to set a kind of campaign we'll back on. Let them try it. It will fly against the spirit of equity, justice, and affenif. Equity, justice, affenifere. In like manner, 
the Pan Yoruba Social Political Organization, Afe Nifere, warned that any attempt to zone the presidency to the north in 2023 would not only will not only be unfair, but also fly against the spirit of equity, justice, and harmonious relationship in the country. Alfani Ferris National Publicity Secretary Jaye Jare Ajayi insisted that political parties would not be fair if they failed to stick to the zoning of their presidential slot to the South. He said, since the advent of the present civilian dispensation, the presidency has been a rotation between the North and the South. It started with the South when former President Olusego Basanjo ruled for eight years. His administration was followed by that of a late president, Musa Yaradwa, whose life was unfortunately cut short by death. Yaradwa was from the North, thus maintaining the rotation arrangement. Dr. Goodluck Jonathan from the South took over and ruled for six years. For six years, retired General Muhammad Buhari took over from Jonathan. Buhari is from the North, and by 2023, he too would have spent eight years in the saddle. It is therefore normal that the Southern President must take over from the incumbent President, who is from the North. Afeni Ferris' position is in tandem with the South and Middle Belt Leadership Forum, SMBLF, of which it is a member. The forum, at its various meetings in recent times, has consistently advocated for the zoning of presidential slots to the South by various political parties in the country. The position was further attested to by Southern Governors Forum, which also called for restriction of presidential slots to the South. Afeni Farah is optimistic that a Southern presidency will end as a related easing of the tension in the country. Resolve the merit of problems Nigeria is facing, as well as ensure a return to true federalism for a reasoning. Okay, for the not to still insist on having the presidency in 2023 would not only be unfair, but it also fly against the spirit of equity, justice, and harmonious relationship among the constituents in the country. Okay, and thus not we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.